Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from A Countryman's View. I hope you're doing well. Today on my thumbnail photograph I have the uh, heading Problem Solved Reduce the World Population by 90%. Now what people uh, don't a lot of people don't realize that um, some of these globalists want to reduce the world population as there's too many of us but as Christians we know that um, we don't have to worry because um, we have a place in heaven and uh, we know that eventually the world will be destroyed we don't know when but certainly with the things uh, that we're seeing we feel like we're uh, getting nearer the time when Jesus is going to return and uh, then we will see the tribulation and, and, and Jesus finally return again so um, it's very interesting times for the Christian to be living in I think it could be if you're not a Christian it could be quite scary but if you're a Christian our hope is in Jesus and we have a bright future so yesterday I was looking at um, someone I follow um, who, who writes very wisely on politics and various sort of things in the world etc a very common sense man uh, David Vance here and uh, but let's see all our problems would be solved if the world's populations were reduced by 90 percent this statement was made by the British ambassador of peace to the UN Jane Goodall and then he's put they want you dead and um, you know that's a that's a terrible thing and we know th things can get taken out of context this context this is just a little extract but there are some sadly some very evil people who are trying to be God on this earth and they're going to be in for a massive shock because Jesus is the one who's um, uh, looking after the earth he's going to come and get get the ones who believe in him the, the Christians and um, do so we don't have to worry about people like this but we do it's good to know what's going on and um, we can see here that um, more, more about Jane Goodall um, now I don't know anything about this lady but uh, I'm sure she's a very intelligent woman and um, says uh, she's considered the most foremost experts expert on chimpanzees chimpanzees after 60 years studying the social and family interactions of wild champion chimpanzees now there is there is more but I won't read it so I'm sure the lady is very knowledgeable but unless you know Jesus and the truth you, you you can't you know you're going to think differently about the world you're going to think about how to protect it before I knew Jesus I, I thought in a totally different way and um, and then as you get older you start to think well actually what, what what's why are we in this world what what are we here for surely surely we're not just here to work hard and play hard and then we just die and that's it no there's a lot more and uh, Jesus if we know Jesus he um, we can have eternal life with him so um, there's another picture here I got up it also the kind of everything adds up uh, Jane Goodall here um, member of the World Economic Forum um, a globalist platform um, uh, a platform that does not believe in God they want a globalist government a one world government just as we hear about in Revelation and what the Bible tells us so it's interesting how these the sort of th three things come together and uh, helps us un understand things but I pray that these people come to know Jesus before it's too late hence why I make these videos so because um, many people have never heard about Jesus they don't really know who he is they've heard the name but they don't know that there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain so let's just have a look at what the Bible says so in 1 Thessalonians 4:16, um, I'll read to the end actually till, till 18 it says for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout with, with the voice of an arch, archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and thus we shall always be with the Lord therefore comfort not one another with these words what wonderful words from um, from the book of Thessalonians and here the title is the comfort of Christ's coming and what a comfort that is to know that and I think we actually we live in a generation where we really could meet him in the air uh, I cannot imagine what that would be like but I believe that could happen at any time uh, even today but uh, so let's go on to the next scripture John 14 um, 1 to 4 the way 
the truth and the life. John 14 is a great book. It's a great chapter. Uh, let, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God and believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may also be. And when I go... Well, I'll start again. And when where I go, you know, and the way you know. And uh, once again, very, very good words to know that we've got a mansion in heaven. And there's a place for those who believe. All we have to do is believe in Jesus. As simple as that. But of course, it has to be a genuine belief in him. And I can certainly recommend that. And then if we move to Acts 17.31. Right, 31. Because he has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man whom he has ordained. He has given assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead. Jesus has risen from the dead. He's alive and he's coming back. And uh, there is an appointed day. The Bible says the day and the hour is unknown. But it looks to me as so though we're getting near. And uh, it's good to have assurance and know where we're going, where our destination is. And the final scripture is Revelation 22, 20, which reads, um, and the title, the headline is, I am coming quickly. And it says, he who testifies to these things says, surely I am coming quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And uh, what wonderful news to know that Jesus is coming. And... Uh, we have to remember that the time is different to the Lord. It's different. We have time on this earth, but in heaven there won't be time. So remember that Jesus could come any time, and it could be today. So uh, up here, if you're not a Christian, I prayed this prayer 25 plus years ago. It changed my life. It gave me the gift of eternal life, and uh, I will read it. And if you're not a Christian and you'd like to see it, say it after me, it reads, Dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge you as Lord and Saviour of my life. I repent of all my sins, and I ask you today to take over complete control of every aspect of my life. Amen. And if you said that and genuinely meant it, it means that God's born again spirit has moved inside of you and you've got eternal life. And if you're serious about it, you need to get in a, a, um, a place of worship, a church, and a small group's always good because you can ask questions. I had lots of questions to ask when I was born again. And also, of course, to read the Bible. I'm reading from Bible Gateway. There's many different websites where you can use and different apps for your phone. But this is my preferred. There's also other study tools on there which are very helpful as well. So um, if you've got any questions on this video, I'm, um, uh, I'm here to try and help. And thanks very much for watching.